Hi everyone and welcome into my brand new car. Um, I am absolutely obsessed with it at the moment so you'll probably have seen this already. Just little bits of it either on my Snapchat or on my Instagram. But I really, really wanted to film a what's in my car video. Now I used to be really, really messy and I used to have a really messy car and I used to have a really messy bedroom. And then like over the years, I think that part of it comes to do with like Ali's influence because Ali's really, really tidy. So I know it might seem like my car is abnormally clean, but it's actually just how I like to keep it nowadays because I take pride in my car. So yeah, I want to show you around it. I want to get, I want you to get to know it a little bit better. And I want to tell you about like why I bought it. So yeah, basically this is a white Range Rover evoke and it's got cream leather interior and it's the oh my god he's rolling backwards rolling. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> he's just rolling doesn't even know <laughs> he's just re I can't laugh on he's gonna look up and look at us in a second <laughs> okay so it is a <laughs> So this is a white Range Rover Evoque and it's the black edition which I think is the one that's designed by Victoria Beckham but don't quote me on that and it's white like I said it's got cream leather interior and then it's got black wheels and I think black accents as well um, and it's my absolute pride and joy at the moment. I bought this car about two weeks ago now and I'd had a Mini Cooper convertible before and it was just a two-seater one and so it was tiny it's literally tiny in comparison to this and um, I was gonna have a stepping like a stepping stone car in between like a, a bigger BMW or something like that because Ali and I needed like a bigger car because we both had two seaters. I just decided to take the plunge and uh, get my dream car um, it's not brand new at all no I literally I searched for ages and I found the car of my dreams and I just went for it so I'm going to show you around and I'm going to show you like what I keep in it and there's not a lot that I keep in it I'm going to be honest I like to keep my car really really tidy that's like Ali's influence because Ali's car is always immaculate I like to get it cleaned regularly as well that's really important to me um so yeah let's have a look around my car so when you get in the car you don't actually have to put a key in the ignition you just have to have this fob and you can put it anywhere in your car it can just be in your handbag you don't even have to get it out. well you do have to get it out because you have to unlock the car but you yeah you just put it anywhere and then you press a button on the dash and put your foot on the clutch and it starts which is quite handy really when I get in the car if it's a sunny day which is rare in England so when I get in the car um, if it's a sunny day, which is rare in England, but we are approaching summer, so I'm excited about that. Down here is where I keep my sunglasses that I'm loving at the moment, and it is uh, a Celine pair at the moment. It's the Celine Shadow sunglasses in the black and tortoise shell, and they're absolutely disgusting. Um, they really need a clean, quite badly, never mind. And yeah, these are like my favorite sunglasses at the moment, so I'm gonna take these in and clean them, because I can't actually even see anything. That's so bad, it's like fingerprints all over them. Um, so yeah I keep those down there and usually I will put my handbag on the seat but unfortunately there is an Ali Gordon sat in my seat at the moment um, he would usually be in the boot but today he's sat <laughs> today he's sat there in my handbags place but for today I will put my handbag in the back um, it's been demoted so I'll pop that there just keep it out of the way um, also because this is a big car it's a lot bigger than my other car so I'm still getting a bit used to like driving it and um, just feeling like I can manoeuvre corners and stuff like that so I want to make sure that I've always got really like sensible footwear on so if I'm going out somewhere or I'm going to see friends I will always have a pair of shoes in the back I want to get a pair of driving shoes like a pair of Todds that are like the perfect shoe for for driving in because they've got like the tread up the back so you don't damage them but until that point I keep a pair down here oh at the moment I'm just keeping these in my car because it's too cold to wear these outside so um, I just wear them when I'm driving and these are my Chanel little pump shoes, ballet pumps um, and they're just really really comfortable and really easy to drive in so I keep those down here. Um, now I'm going to show you what's on like the dash and the steering wheel and stuff like that. So on the steering wheel obviously it says Range Rover and then it has lots and lots of controls. Some that I know what they do do and some I don't know what they do. This bit here is like your, where you control your music so I can hook my 
my iPhone or my iPod up to the sound system and I can control it all from here, like this. And then I can also connect my phone, so that's done by Bluetooth, so if anyone calls me I can answer it on the dash here. And this is for voice activation. And then this is my horn, which I'm not actually going to press, which I wanted to press because I don't think I've ever used it yet. Um, but there's like a whole car park of people that have decided to pull up next to us, so I'm not going to do that. Um, this is then the cruise control, so for when I'm on motorways and stuff like that, I can um, control that from here. There's a flap here that says can, which I actually don't know what it does. So if anyone wants to tell me what that does, that would be great. And what does this one do again? This is your menu on your display. Oh yeah, that controls the menu on the computer here in front of me. Then obviously I've got like my indicators and my lights and my windscreen wipers and bits like that here. And then here on the dashboard, everything's obviously illuminated at the moment because the car isn't on, but it's not got that many lights on usually. Um, and also you can see that I need petrol, which is something that's a regular occurrence in my car. I always let it get right down to the red. I don't know why I do that. Um, but here it tells you like what music's playing on your on your in your car and whether you need petrol your oil and all the important stuff also it tells you who's not wearing seat belts and you can see that in the back as well so it tells you if people in the back aren't wearing their seat belts so I'll be watching you and then obviously your speed and your revs and then this is sort of the dashboard area where I have the computer and it has like iPod and all of the audio stuff and my phone book and all like my telephone options and you can control it here but it is also like touch screen which is really cool and I can select all of the different radio stations which I actually haven't preset anything yet because I tend to just play Spotify through my car all the time. Then there are my heating vents which see a lot of work because I'm always cold so I've always got them on full blast and I have like my heated seats on which are down here so it's usually oh yeah they're here so I have my heated seats on as well, which are down here, which I can't turn on now because the car's not on. Um, but usually my car is like a sauna. This is to put my phone in because I don't like having my phone next to me. I like to have it in front of me and I also use it as my sat nav because it's always the most up to date version. So I'll pop my phone in there. Then when we come down here, we have the CD, which obviously I don't really use because no one really uses CDs anymore. I've got the air conditioning, the heated seats. It's also good because you can control the temperature on either side. So if I want to be really, really hot, like I've got it on high now, and Ali's not as hot as I am, he can have it on 24. So you can tell who's sat in what seat at the moment. This button here is the thing that I'm struggling to get used to. This is the handbrake. Yeah. This is the handbrake and it's just a button that you press and it releases the handbrake. So I keep forgetting. <laughs> Um, but luckily there's a little light that tells me on my dashboard whether I put it on or not. So I am getting used to it, but it's just like a whole new world to me. Then obviously I've got my gear stick, which is six speed. Um, and I didn't get a, uh, an automatic because as much as I would like an automatic, I've never actually had one before. So it's not like I know what I'm missing. And this was the only thing with the car that I was like, oh, well, I could have got an automatic, but oh well, I'm just going to get a manual. And this car is so nice to drive that I don't really see a problem with it being manual. It's just so lovely to drive. Then we come to this bit where it's got the evoke sign here. And then in here you can put like my coffees and stuff like that. It's also got um, another, um, this is a um, not even, what's it called? It doesn't even have a, it doesn't even have a cigarette lighter on it though. So I think you can just like plug in another USB there. So if you need, because the USBs are actually in here um, so if you want it a little bit closer because obviously I keep my phone up here <laughs> so yeah this is just an extra USB port and then normal people I think would have change in this bit and I just have one one pound because I, al I always need change but I just tend to steal it from Ali's car instead <laughs> sorry Ali so this is the air freshener that I have in my car um, it's not actually an air freshener it's like a, a perfumed oval from Diptyque but I wanted to have it as my air freshener because it's so pretty and I think that there's a real like niche market for classy uh, air fresheners in cars and this is just the most beautiful scent as well so I broke this bit and threaded it round and made it into a, a car freshener and this is the glove compartment and obviously this is all just like papers about the car that you kind of get standard in any car 
And then I also keep a packet of baby wipes to wipe any spillages or anything else that we might, you know, if you get dirty hands or anything like that, I just keep those in there. I learned that one from my dad. My dad always has baby wipes in his car. This is one of my favorite functions in the car. These are the lights that you can obviously turn off and turn on in any car, but these are touch sensitive, which is so cool. So it's... <laughs> and there's also like ambient lighting around the car, but it's not on at the moment because the car isn't actually on. Um, and these are speakers up here. And mirrors obviously for every girl's needs <laughs> it's not that it's a sun visor it's a mirror so now i'm in the back of my car and this is the first time that i've actually been in the back and there's so much room obviously my other car did not have a back i didn't have a back seat or anything uh, but my mini before that did and it was tiny but there is just like so much room it's so nice this would be perfect for like long journeys and stuff like that, which we don't really do a lot of, if ever. But um, it's nice to have the option. Um, and yeah, it's really nice and comfy. So now we're gonna take a look inside of my boot. Don't be excited, there's not much here. All I've got is my yoga mat, which is a yoga mat from Sweaty Betty. Other than that, it's a big boot though. Ali, don't! Ali! 